Paul Mary Lou. You have been the rock of leadership of the Side American Travel Writers Foundation and the Lowell Thomas Travel Journalism Competition for decades. You were president until 2003, and I was your vice president. I was president after 2003, and you were the administrator. We worked as a team for 20 years. I would say there are two names most associated with the travel journalist competition, with the travel journalism competition, Lowell Thomas and Mary Lou Abbott. Your fame. Hi, Mary Lou. I am um, at Travel Classics in Arizona today at Scottsdale and um, pitching stories, pitching SATW, and I have to say your legacy is felt all the way out here um, in the Southwest. Um, at our event tonight, at last night, and then today during lunch, people were just talking about the Lowell Thomas Awards they had won and how it was the, the standard bearer for the entire industry. And that's a complete testimony to you. Um, your work has touched people across the world, across the globe, across our profession. Um, thank you so much for everything you've done over the last decades. I think that's true, it's decades. And um, it means so much to us. It means so much to the journalism, travel journalism world. And we miss you, but we're still gonna see you. Um, I just thank you for all your work. Mary Lou, you're just the best person to work with. From your days at the magazine to your dedication to the SATW Foundation, I have admired your skills. You're renowned for your eagle eye and your respect for fine journalism. You excel at handling the tiniest details. I have seen commas shuddering in fear that you might delete them. I thank you for your patience as you guided me through the intricacies of writing the script for the Lowell Thomas Journalism Awards. It has been an excellent learning experience. As we worked together, our friendship grew. I remember a few spells of unstoppable laughter as we worked and discussed the script. I wish you bon voyage as you sail into your new world. Please send a postcard now and then. Mary Lou, this is Martha Steger, and I wanted to express my gratitude for all you've done since I became a member of the um, Foundations Board uh, in the mid-90s, about uh, seven or eight years after I became a member of SATW. And the first thing I remember is how patient you were with me as a treasurer for two years when no one else would take the job for the board. And um, I didn't know how to do a spreadsheet, still don't do one very well for that matter. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people were winking and nodding their heads, but you were very, very patient with me. And then we enjoyed working together um, on the Lowell Thomas Travel Journalism Awards um, up in the museum, which at that time was in Arlington, Virginia, and is was a museum and still is a museum, only it's um, near Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C., after Freedom Forum moved there for a larger site. But they hosted, in the mid-90s, the Travel Journalism Awards um, for the foundation, and the, or the organization went all out, as you recall, pulling out Freedom Forum's Best China, um, doing everything for us gratis without charging um, a rental fee, providing a speaker. And our award winners came from all over the country. Uh, and you just uh, were a pleasure to work with in that. I know I was the Virginian on site and had an assistant who could help me pull up all of the printed out articles by award winners and put them on panels for display. Uh, but it was just such a pleasure um, to work with you. And I think um, Ed Stone also contacted John Siegenthaler then with the Freedom Forum so that we could have that added boost of an inside track. It's always a pleasure to work with this organization and especially with you. Thanks so much. This is Tom Atkinson in Nashville. And because I'm in Nashville, I'll start with a reference to music. I'll pull up the memories of Don and Phil Everly, the Everly brothers, and say, hello, Mary Lou, but I'm not saying goodbye heart.
I know that our friendship will keep on going and going and going. I join everyone else in saying thank you for all you've done for the SATW Foundation and the Lowell Thomas Travel Journalism Awards. Your work has been phenomenal. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We also salute you for your spirit of volunteerism. What an example you have set. We'll keep it short, but I'll close with another musical reference and call up Willie Nelson and say, Mary Lou, you're on the road again. So long from Rocky Top. Mary Lou, golly, you know, from the time Ian and I joined SATW and subsequently started applying and submitting for the Lowell Thomas Awards, all we've known is you. It's been your name at the end of the email. It's been your emails who have contacted us when we've missed a link or you needed clarification on a submission. And I personally am so grateful and I, I think I can speak for my husband as well, um, since I'm married to him. We are both very grateful for all of the work and the, the care and commitment that you've shown SCTW. And I know you're not going too far, you're just leaving the board, um, but I look forward to seeing you in, uh, in the, the years to come. And I wish you the best. Hey Mary Lou, it's Victoria, and I just want to say thank you so much for everything that you have done over the past eight months. You have been amazing, well, the past gazillion years in starting the foundation and keeping it going. You have done an amazing handover, your eagle eye, your understanding, <laughs> your support, your positivity, your calm, your poise, and um, great sense of humor. Um, I am looking forward to continuing working with you. So I, I know it's not goodbye because you're going to be around and we're going to be working on the contest together when it reopens. But I just want to tell you that you are the best and um, you've done such an amazing job with this foundation. And I hope you can leave but not leave and just be so proud of your work and your legacy here because it's been a great contribution to SATW and the, and the whole world of travel writing for which you were a part of and that was your career. So um, thank you so much and um, look forward to seeing you soon. It's not goodbye. Mary Lou Abbott is the glue that holds SATW Foundation together. She's the proverbial mother hen of SATW Foundation. Mary Lou Abbott is the SATW Foundation. When Lynn Barnes elected Mary Lou to be on the board and later to oversee the Lowell Thomas Travel Journalism Awards, he knew he was putting the foundation into good hands. I was honored to be selected by Lynn Barnes to not only be on the board back in the mid 80s, but also to serve on his SATW convention in Kansas City, along with co-chair with Mary Lou Abbott. Mary Lou is an inspiration, and not only to me, but to all of us. She and I have been working partners ever since that day back in Kansas City and for the SATW convention in 1988. I'll miss working with Mary Lou I'll miss planning the next Lowell Thomas Travel Writing Award competition. I'll miss talking about websites, emails, and talking about family, talking about SATW, and talking about what we're going to do next and how do we improve the foundation. She made sure that every sentence is correct, every T is crossed, every I is dotted, and she is a nitpicky, nitpicky editor, as we all know, and that makes her so valuable to the foundation. As we observe Thanksgiving, I want to make sure that we give thanks for the service of Mary Lou Abbott to the SATW Foundation. Fran and I love Mary Lou Abbott and we enjoyed having her to visit with us earlier this year. 
Hope you, we can do it again sometime. God bless you, Mary Lou Abbott. Mary Lou, I'm in a fog as usual, but this time it's a real one. Hello from California. Good morning. You're the only person for whom I would do this. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, friend, how much we'll miss you. Please don't take our sunshine away.